what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so today i have another gel polish kit from beatles to show you guys this is their celestial collection and i love how everything is like all celestial theme like these little stickers and sorry you can't see the all white ones my light was bright but they are like little four point stars like how they are on the other stickers and you also get an orange stick to push back your cuticles three glitters and then like a little pot of some rhinestones with stars and moons you also even get like a rhinestone gel in this i like how they include that for applying your rhinestones and there's also a little detail brush with a nice fine tip on it i love like brushes with a fine tip it makes it easier to use because you pick up less product and there's also a little application guide that will walk you through how to apply gel polish and there's actually 20 different color gels in this set there's a lot <laughs> and they are five milliliter bottles and there's two top coats a matte and a glossy and then a base coat those are 7.5 milliliters and i'm just going to go ahead and start swatching them so you guys can see all of the colors but yeah there's a lot of colors and none of them have names so i'm just gonna randomly like swatch them for you guys just as i go um, but as you can see, they're really pigmented. They're nice and thick, so you definitely don't need any more than one to two coats. Um, the little nail art wheels that I have, the nails are small, so I only had to go in with one coat. If you had longer nails, you probably would need two. But yeah, as you can see, they're really nice and pigmented. I really like how thick they are because you, that means you can use them for nail art as well. And the colors are really pretty. It's more like um, deeper tones in this set and there's like a little bit of glitters and stuff like that. But I kind of feel like this would be also a really nice like fall gel polish set. Or if you don't really like, you know, bright colors or you like deeper tones, um, this would be like a really nice set for you. Or if you're just like looking to like, you know, up your collection or something like that. This is a good way to do it because you get like a bunch of colors and it just goes to show you really don't have to you know spend a lot of money to get like good quality gel polishes like i don't even know why you would <laughs> anymore these days because there's so many brands out there that make more affordable formulas that are just as good as the expensive brands and stuff like that um but as you could see on one of the brushes one of the little um bristles was like hanging out and sometimes that does happen like on the machines and stuff like that so i went ahead and like just trimmed it off it wasn't really that big of a deal to me you can always just like cut it off um i guess sometimes when they're making it the machine probably cuts it wrong or something like that so yeah you can just like trim it off if that ever happens that's happened to me before with like some of my other gel polishes but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cure these and then swatch the last two i really love all the colors they're just so pretty and i love like the deep shades because normally i'm always reviewing like really bright shades this is actually what they look like after they're all cured with a glossy top coat and i did go ahead and top coat three of the colors with the matte top coat so you guys can see um, what the matte top coat looks like but yeah as you can see it's really nice it's almost like a velvet matte which is what I really like kind of like the Madame Glam like velvet matte that's what it reminds me of but yeah if you guys are interested in this kit definitely check out the description box I believe it might be on sale on Amazon um, you just have to apply the little coupon before you purchase. Anyways, moving on to the tutorial, I did go ahead and prep my nails off camera. And don't mind my hand, I did scratch it up. And I don't even know how, I don't even remember what I was doing that I scratched my hand up like that. But yeah, it never fails before I go to film a video. But yeah, besides that, I'm going in with my dehydrator and primer. I'm using one from Bella Vina today, the one that came in the double dip mystery box i actually really like it. it works really really good so i do one coat of that and then two coats of primer and then i'm going to go in with the base gel from the kit i'm doing an all gel set it's going to be like a poly gel set I'm, i'll be like encapsulating my gel polishes like i normally do um so i'm going to apply the base coat first just my natural nail um, and the reason you want to do this is to protect your natural nails from staining and it will give the gel something to like grip onto when you're applying it. 
um, so it like adheres to your nail better. So yeah, after I cure that for 60 seconds, I'm going to take that like really pretty light grayish purple shade. It's a really unique color um, and it kind of caught my eye. Something about it, I really liked it. So I'm actually going to be combining this one and another color. So this one is A906 from the set and I'm painting it over the tips of all of my nails because I'm going to be doing an ombre. So I'm going to be painting that and as you can see with one coat it was like super pigmented and my nails are really long. So yeah, maybe you don't need two coats <laughs> when you're um, painting your nails because as you can see, um, yeah, full coverage one coat. So yeah, I'm just going to like kind of flash cure that a little bit for like maybe 30 seconds and then I'm going to take that really pretty, it's like a clear polish but it has like really pretty glitters in it. They have like a purple shift to them and I'm going to paint that right over the purple and it just gives it a really pretty like sparkly effect. Then I'm going to take this nude shade from the McCart House of Flores poly gel kit and I'm going to be like using that as my top color for my ombre. So I'm just going to be fading this color down into the purple. So you really only need a very small bead, not like a lot because then you'll just end up wasting the poly gel. So to do the ombre, I start patting the poly gel around the cuticle area and then I kind of like pat side to side to make sure like the entire like nail bed is covered and then when I get to where the tip and the natural nail meet I just blend that poly gel down and you might have to like brush it over the tip a little bit or like remove some of it just a little bit to kind of like get that blend right it's kind of weird to explain you'll just kind of have to watch but like trying to blend poly gel down into gel polish um, sometimes you just have to do that and I don't know it just does something and blends it like better in my opinion um, so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm also using some slip solution from McCart by the way if you were wondering um, and I make sure to clean around the cuticles before I cure my lamp I'm just gonna be like flash curing before I move on to the other nails so that um, you know I don't bump into them or anything but yeah, I'm going to do the same thing for the other two nails and you want to be careful how much you add because I'm going to be like encapsulating these nails. So you really don't want like them to bulk up too much near the cuticle area. So just very little is all you need. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start applying my nail stickers. I'm going to be encapsulating these stickers. You could kind of do that with poly gel because the color won't really bleed off like it would with um, acrylic nails if you were using monomer. That's what I really like about it. So I really like to encapsulate them so they stay on better and you don't got to worry about, you know, kind of feeling that gritty feeling on your nail from the stickers being on top. So yeah, I'm kind of using a mixture of the ones that came with the kit, like some of those um, black ones, um, like the butterflies, the unicorn, and some of the four point stars and stuff like that. Um, but I guess the tacky layer from the gel was kind of interfering with me sticking the stickers on there. So I, I took a little like alcohol pad and just like cleansed it off. Um, sometimes they do stick on good, like without cleansing them, but these, I don't know it just was better like to take it off because they were just like sliding around 
Um, and when you're peeling these off, it's best to use tweezers because they're so small. It was kind of hard to like pick some of them off um, because like the little parts, like some parts lifted and other parts it didn't. So I kind of just went with the ones that were like coming up easily. But yeah, the little unicorn butt came off, so I had to stick it back on. And then it ended up coming off again. So I had to just end up sticking a whole nother unicorn over this one. But yeah, just like, I guess be really careful because they're so small. Um, as you can see, when I placed it on there, you couldn't even tell that it like came in half. But I ended up like hitting my hand or something and it fell off again. I don't know where it went. So I ended up just putting like a whole nother unicorn over it. I was like, forget it. Let's just do that. Um, but yeah, as you could tell, this is going to be like a 90s themed like set. So I'm also using these little nail decals from Shop Kiki. I've had these for a while. They're like little lava lamps and then the little flip phone. How freaking cute is that? Um, so yeah, I just like cut them out. And you're going to want to place them in some water for like a couple of seconds. They really don't need to stay in long because they come off so easily. Um, and they slide like right off the backing. And then you'll just want to like apply a little base gel onto your nails and place the decal into the gel. I find that doing that, they stick a lot better. Like they stay on so that you can cure them in place in your lamp. I tried to place it on my nail without using the base gel and it didn't really work out as well. Like um, some of the corners from the um, backing were coming up so I just applied a base gel. And these, um, they probably would be best on like a white background but I really wanted to put them on my nails so I decided to put them kind of more up by the cuticle area like over the nude shade. So you could still see it. The lava lamp wasn't as bad, but I decided to put the phones like up by the cuticle area so you could see them better. I feel like they would have got lost like against the purple. Um, that's the thing. You got to be careful when you order um, the decals because sometimes um, they come with like a clear backing and it has to be over a white base. So yeah, I did go ahead and cut out some more little decals. I'm using some little troll ones. Um, has like a bunch of different ones on there like ring pops and like all like kind of like little stuff from the 90s like toys and stuff who remembers the little blow up bags i literally had one of those when i was a kid i had an all pink jelly blow up bag it was so cute but yeah these really reminded me of the bag that i had when i was younger like everything used to be like blow up back then i had a blow up chair it was like all purple and stuff like that that was like really in back then when we were kids but yeah this is cute so i'm just like taking the little unicorn off right now as you can see while well, i was trying to take it off and it wouldn't come off so i was like forget it let's just stick another one over it and then i'm just going to apply a base gel to like apply the other decals So this is the little blow up bag that I was talking about. It's so freaking cute to me. And I was also going to put like my little pony on there too. But for some reason my little pony's head like got stuck to the other decal and it started stretching too much. So I had to remove it and like go ahead and put another one in the water and apply it to my nails.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm using this color called Ice Blossom from Madame Glam. Um, I believe it's a clear, but sometimes to me it looks frosty. It came in that advent calendar last year. I'm just trying to use up like a lot of the poly gels that I have in my drawer um, that I haven't really been using. But yeah, to me it kind of has like a slight frosted look to it. I don't know, what do you guys think? But anyways, I still think they came out cute either way it kind of gave it a different look so i'm just encapsulating the nails i'm applying the poly gel straight onto the nail as most of you know i like to do that i feel like when i use the spatula i get like a lot of bubbles in my poly gel which i hate um so yeah i apply the poly gel straight onto the nail with the rounded end by the cuticle so that i can use that rounded end to kind of like build my apex so I start around the cuticle area when I first start patting the poly gel out and then I like pat side to side focusing most of that rounded end like up by the nail bed area to build the apex and I don't really move much of it down for that reason and then for the rest of the nail I kind of pat side to side um, patting the poly gel in place and then I kind of just like smooth out the nail before I cure it in my lamp. And as you can see, you get a really good apex doing it this way. If you do get like a bubble like in your poly gel or something, you can use the other end of the spatula to kind of poke it out and then, um, you know, pat the poly gel back in place. Sometimes it happens like when you squeeze the bottle too hard, like me half the time. Um, so yeah, that's what I do if I do get a bubble in the poly gel. If you see me like flip the brush over and just kind of like... Um, pat out some of the poly gel I'm trying to get like the little bubble that was there because bubbles could really ruin like your end result look like you can have like a cute set but if you see the bubbles it's kind of like eh, you know so you definitely want to get rid of those um, I'll be flash curing like I did in the beginning and then I'll do a cure in my lamp for 60 seconds before I go to file
baby, I wonder, would you put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me? Cause I got the plug, I made the call for me. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the filing. As always, I always start by debulking my nails. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm using my McCart Jean Beer nail drill, which I've been loving lately, if you haven't noticed. I'm also using a ceramic drill bit. This is a medium grit safety bit. And I'm debulking the nails right now. So I usually start around the cuticle. I try to get the cuticle down as much as I can. And I kind of do like go over it a couple times after that. Um, and after that, I kind of go side to side down the nail to like evenly smooth out the nail. And then I kind of take the drill and file like up and down to file the side walls. The way you want your nails to look is um, the apex to be the thickest part of your nail. And then the nail gradually gets thinner as um, you get towards the free edge, but you never want to make your nails too thin to where like they're gonna break um, Just gradually thinner, but not thin like a credit card or anything like that um, Yeah, you kind of have to be the judge of that I'll be giving you guys like a view down the nail and everything and towards the side of the nail um, So you could see like how your apex and everything is supposed to look you also want to make sure that you file underneath your nails um, because you don't want like any plastic pieces from your nail tips or anything you know like still stuck under there because that can look really you know gross in your end result so definitely file underneath your nails um, just to be on the safe side I also take the drill and kind of go along the sides of the nail to like redefine the shape if you do that, you'll have like less hand filing to do. It kind of like speeds up the process. But I always like to do my hand filing as the last step because I feel like the shape comes out a lot sharper that way. I feel like if you start hand filing first, um, your shape isn't as sharp because if you hand file and shape up your nails and then go in with your drill, without realizing it, that drill is dulling your shape, if you know what I mean. So. In my opinion, this is the best way to do it. You debulk first and then do your shaping as a last step. But then again, everybody's different. Do what works best for you. But yeah, I'm here to show you the way I do it and the way I prefer to do things. So yeah, in my opinion, this is the best way to go. So yeah, I do take down like as much bulk as I can around the cuticle area, but I will be like taking a cuticle bit to get behind there even more. Um, since it's such a small area.
So now I'm going to take my round cuticle bit and try to go around the cuticle area to take off more of that bulk and just like clean up around this area. This bit is really good for also like, you know, exfoliating the dead skin around the cuticle area as well. So I really like it for that, like, especially if you can't really get to it, it gently like exfoliates it. Of course you do want to use it on a low speed, never use it on a high speed. And no matter like what drill bit you're using, make sure you keep the drill moving, never stay in one area for too long to avoid like heating up like the bits on your nails it can cause like friction or whatever so yeah i definitely do that um and then i'm gonna go in with another cuticle bit actually after this to further like seal around the cuticle but these really help seal around the cuticle because you can get the product down really flat with these um versus like trying to do it with a safety bit it's a little bit harder because it has that guard but the cuticle bits are small so you can get behind the cuticle and seal it properly so you don't get like lifting or anything like that so i'm just going to dust off the nails and then go in with the other one normally these aren't the cuticle bits that i like to use i do have the ones that i normally like to use linked in my amazon store um down below in the description box um it's a set from a cart i really love it it comes with like a bunch of drill bits that you need like one for removal for cuticle work um for like um filing you know shaping up your nails and stuff like that they even have a little cleaning bit so yeah definitely check it out um they work amazing i have to actually order another set because i broke two of my cuticle bits like how do you do that Now I'm going to take my hand file and just redefine the shape of the nails. I'm using a 100, 180 grit hand file. I like to use the 100 grit side to get like a really sharp shape. Um, and these tips do come like already pre-shaped, like the stiletto shape. So I'm kind of just going in and like redefining that shape. Um, you want to hold your file at an angle for stiletto nails and just file in the tip and then like kind of like round off the edges like at the tip so it's not like super pointy um and just keep doing that till you're satisfied with like i guess the width of the nails or however you like your shape to look i'm not making these really pointy um and i do file underneath the nail with the hand files to make sure like there's no like excess plastic under there or anything um, because that needs to be off and i do go in with my buffer as well after this to buff out any scratches
So I did want to quickly show you guys how the overall structure of your nail should look after filing. Um, this is a front view, but if you look down the barrel of the nail, you can see a little hump in the middle, which is the apex. And then the two side walls, they're a lot thinner. And then from the side, you have that hump and then the nail gradually gets thinner um, as it goes towards the free edge, but you still do have some thickness. Um, yeah, so that should be how your nail looks. If you want to make your apex thicker, you can, but um, after applying gel top coat and everything like that, they do thicken up as well. So don't make them too thick. And to finish everything up, I'm actually just going to apply a little dot of rhinestone gel. And I'm going to apply these little heart rhinestones that I got from a cart. Um, and just place that into the gel and cure them in place. I did actually end up switching the one on the pinky to a bigger one um, off camera because I thought I had enough to do little ones on all of the nails, but I didn't. So I switched up and put a big one on the thumbs and then a medium sized heart on the pinkies and then three small ones on the other fingers. So yeah, and then after that, I'll just top coat all the nails and that is it for this set. I love the way they came out. It just definitely reminds me of the 90s. I just love everything about them. They're so cute to me. Let me know what you guys think. I love what you have to say about them as well. I love hearing your thoughts. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that too because I usually update you guys on there as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys. Thank you.